Hello and welcome to another episode of Studio Survival Guide. My name is Sam, I'll be your logic engineer today, and we're going to be looking at setting the bitrate and setting the sample rates. We're also going to briefly look at how to set input and outputs. Okay, so we're just going to open logic and start a new session. And for the purpose of this example, just create any track, it doesn't really matter what. So just press enter. Okay, so we're going to go into file in the top left, down to project settings, and we're going to click on audio. Sample rate is the number of samples of audio carried per second. So the higher your sample rate, the higher the quality of the audio you're working with. A higher sample rate also means the larger the size of the audio you're working with. So for projects working with high sample rates, the audio is going to be quite large and they're going to be quite big project files. Okay, so once you press that, a little box should open up like here. And you can see that there's next to the word sample rate, a drop down menu. Really simply just click on that and it will give you the option to use the sample rates that logic allows you to work in. Okay, so to set the bit rate, we want to go into the Logic Pro X menu in the top left corner. And in the drop down, go into preferences and then audio. A handy shortcut to open the preferences panel is command and comma. Okay, so we just want to go into the general tab and the bitrate controls are in the form of a small checkbox next to the words 24 bit recording. Um, when it's not ticked, you're recording in 16 bit and when it is obviously 24 bit. The higher the bitrate, the more recording headroom you've got and the louder the overall recording. However, this will create more processor strain and again, a larger project file. Okay, to set the overall project inputs and outputs, we want to be back in the audio preferences window we were in before. The shortcut for that is command comma and you just want to click on the audio tab up in the top left. Okay, from here you can see you can set both the output device and the input device. And the drop down menu will show you all available devices. So on my system, I've got the basic system settings and my external Sapphire sound card. To change an input or output device, just click on the desired device in the drop down menu and then click apply. And logic will just take a moment and it will switch over to that for you.